we don't learn anything new unless we are able to experience somebody else's perspective, right? So um, one of the ways that I try to teach folks around um, the previous question of how do I figure out what news source is valid and which news source is not, is that there is a political lean analysis of, of all major news sources. And it kind of plots all the major news sources along a left to right um, angle of how the news is going to be presented to you from kind of like, this is sham news all the on either side, all the way through um, with the Associated Press at the pinnacle, at the pinnacle, along with kind of Bloomberg and um, and a number of other things. And so you, um, so if you take that filter, the way that I, if I care about an issue and I'm gonna have a conversation about an issue, I'll actually take, I'll look at the Associated Press and I'll look at an article that's on the right side and an article that's on the left side of the same issue. And then I'll go further out, I'll do one more on either side so that I can kind of figure out what the other person might be presenting as their side of the story, what I think my own personal bias is. And I can maybe see where, I'm gonna go with she, where she is coming from on the opposite side of the table. Um, it opens up the space for conversation um, and allows you to have what we're missing a lot of sometimes is empathy, right? A little bit of empathy from the perspective of that individual. They have a lived experience. They have a context that they're coming to me with in order to, to have a conversation about politics. Politics um, tends to be like a dirty word, something we don't want to talk about. Women, we know we're not supposed to have political conversation around the dinner table, and we're not supposed to talk about it in mixed company and definitely not at church, like all these places, right? No, we should be having these conversations in a way that allow for open, empathetic um, discussion and recognizing that I may not move you on your viewpoint, but your viewpoint to you is very valid, um, even if it makes me kind of icky on the inside. Um, and if I can start at that space, I think we can we can all move a little bit more forward. It also requires you listening. Um, and so instead of like turning off when the person starts to say the words that are really very triggering at times to you, um, really trying to listen a little bit and see if you can find a kernel of movement in what they're saying. Because nine times out of 10, there actually is. And I just spent Easter with my family. So I can tell you <laughs> that nine times out of 10, there's a moment that you can you can move someone a little bit. You know, part of my job is to talk, frankly, to talk to Republicans who disagree with me all day. I mean, that's like the main part of my job. Uh, and so I have to follow a lot of media and, you know, pundits and all of this stuff because I have to know what they're hearing and I have to know what arguments they're hearing from the other side, what version of events they're getting. There was a whole rumor that kids were identifying as cats and so they were putting litter boxes in classrooms. I don't know if anyone heard that. I don't know. I don't know if you heard the actual story is that they put litter box in there for school shootings in case kids get locked up in there. So they took a school shooting uh, situation and they lied about it and made it about kids identifying as cats and litter boxes because they'd rather talk about that. Now, who other than the people that have to live in this world like I do, like probably half of you have heard maybe half that story or something, right? Uh, but you have to follow the chain of events because how else am I supposed to know why the Republican just brought that up to me other than I also heard that story? Uh, you know, and so I think people would probably be shocked by my Twitter feed because frankly, it's as much people, as many people who disagree with me as agree with me because how am I supposed to figure out why you believe what you believe if I don't know what information you're hearing? So I think it's really important to go out of your way to consume media whether or not you agree with it. Um, and I, you know, I, I think you just have to know what you're looking at. So that's a matter of like, I go, you know, watch Fox News or whatever after a major event, because I want to hear what, you know, the general public who watched Fox News is hearing. Um, and that helps me figure out what I need to be saying so that this isn't two different realities, but rather like one reality that makes sense to people. So 